Hi lovelies, in today's video I'm going to be applying Una Gela Full Coverage Extra Short Coffin Nail Tips. I bought these on Amazon and I thought I'd give them a try. I actually already put one on my ring finger of my right hand because that nail had broken. So I cut down all of my other nails and I went through when I sized my ring finger which is number 8. So to adhere them, I'm going to be using Model 1's nail glue, which I also bought on Amazon. So what I'm doing now is just sizing the rest of my nails, and then I'm going to record them on that little post-it note that you saw there. This is so when I go to do this again, or if I do my left hand, I know what size fits what finger. So you just want to make sure that whatever you're using fits your nails sidewall to sidewall just to give a good adhesion when you glue it onto your nail. So I found that this one actually worked best for my thumb. So I'm recording that down now and that is number four in the pack. There are 11 sizes that come uh, with these uh, packs of nails. And these are not jelly tips, they're soft acrylic tips. So they do have a little bit of pliability to them but they're not as soft as a jelly tip. And I cannot use jelly tips since I've recently developed my gel allergy. So that is why I chose uh, this particular brand. So now I'm sizing up my index finger. Again, making sure it fits sidewall to sidewall. Um, that one would obviously be a little too tight, I believe. So I'm going to the next size up to see how that fits. And I think this is the one I ultimately end up using for my index finger. <laughs> We'll see in a minute here. I did this a couple of days ago. Nope. Okay, going back to the other one. <laughs> the beauty of doing voiceovers, right? You kind of forget what you did when you did it the first time. Just kind of off frame here because I had to like hold it closer to my face for some reason. So this one definitely works. And I'm just going to record that as well down onto my sheet. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up the process for the rest of my uh, nails on this hand, which is just my ring finger and my pinky, and then we'll get to what I'll do after that to prep them. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is try and file away that number that is on each tip with my cordless nail drill here. So I just use my little um, cone bit. I'm not sure exactly what that's called, but I refer to it as my cone bit. So I just put it on. I think I had it on, I can, uh, went up to 11. Okay, so I had it on 11. And that seemed just enough to be able to get that number off without really um, compromising the thickness of the tip. So I'm just going through here and getting rid of that, which I will do for all of the tips moving forward. And now that they're all prepped, I'm going to start gluing them onto my finger. So I'm taking my nail glue here, starting with my thumb. I'm just going to place a thin layer of that nail glue onto the surface of the pre-etched portion of the tip. And I did forget to mention that these are pre-etched on the bottom. You just want to make sure that you're lining it up as straight as possible and then making sure that you're going from your cuticle up to your free edge so there's no air bubbles. And I like to hold it for about 30 seconds to 45 seconds just to make sure it is nice and secure on the nail. And this nail glue actually dried pretty fast. I mean, that was a lot less than 30 seconds and it is pretty secure on the nail. And it was feeling secure as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and do that process with the other fingers and just making sure you get that little part that's on the top off. I'm not sure what it's called, like a little plastic piece that's sticking up. So I just filed that off and it came off pretty fast. And now I'm doing the rest of my nails here. So enjoy watching that.
Once all the tips are on, I'm taking my cone bit again and I'm going around the cuticle line of each nail just to melt in the tip with my natural cuticle line. This prevents any uh, weird bumps or ridges when you apply the dip powder because you don't want that to happen. That will look um, kind of messy and sloppy and it will get dip powder in between the tip and your cuticle which won't uh, be a good thing because then you'll have like a weird lump. So you just wanna make sure you melt them in together and just smooth everything out. Just a couple of thoughts on these tips. I really like the way they applied. I haven't had any lifting or any issues with anything popping off. So the gel or the glue was really uh, good to use as well. I'll link everything down below. And I've had these on, today is Wednesday. No, I'm sorry, today is Thursday. I've had them on since Sunday and I haven't had anything pop off, which is amazing. And I've done uh, a dip powder mani over them as well. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a lovely day.